Oh buddy Andy here again sitting down on the beach and I thought I'd do a little beach vlog about some of the things that have uh, happened, all, all music related, as so often happens with my life, so many things are music related. And recently, I know I've mentioned this a couple of times, but I've actually started a new blog and a bit ironic since the, the title of one of my last videos, or the video was all about not reading blogs, but uh, blogs should I say, but I started writing them all about vinyl, so a slightly different thing, because what, what it's done, it's taken me through sort of musical memories, apart from digging the records out and having a look through them and getting you know used to that old vinyl again I've got nothing to play on at all so it's just a case of getting them out having a look at them and sort of going through them and it brings back so many memories but also by doing the actual blogs themselves um, I've made me research these and make sure you get your facts right and the things that you think are right are correct etc and finding out a little bit more about some of these things and it's, it's become a little musical education reminding me of things that I've forgotten and also a lot of things that I just never knew in the first place about the particular records that I've been talking about or, or about the particular bands or the labels or whatever, the songwriters even, things like that, the people that played on the records. But also, those personal memories, it's one of the reasons that I started doing this and one of the reasons also that I picked some of the particular records that I had, like the first one I had ever bought and that type of thing as well. And, and also, uh, things that happened in the news have sort of set me off on, you know, sort of remembrances as well. You know, a recent one I've just done about the Stranglers walk on by, which, uh, which the lyrics to were written by Hal David, who sadly died the other day. And I thought, well, that's an appropriate one. I did Life on Mars by David Bowie after Neil Armstrong sadly passed away. So it takes you back there, and, but it's amazing. It gets you into it, and it sort of gets you into writing again in some ways. It's something that I've stopped doing, and I was reading uh, some blog posts <laughs> by someone that I like, a journalist, and he started doing these things, a bit like a blog a day type of thing, but it was a blog a day, um, to try and kickstart him into writing, because he needs to, because he's a screenwriter who does things, writes uh, comedy programs and things like that, and it helped him. And uh, it's not something I consciously did, but it certainly helps me. It gets you back into that whole swing of writing again. I still not, I wasn't intending or thinking about trying to do one every day, but I think that's unrealistic. I don't want to rush them, I just do them as the fancy takes me, as the, so the news story sort of provokes me or, or a musical memory comes out of somewhere or other. So I've enjoyed that and that sort of got me back into that. But another thing that's happening as well, a couple of things that have happened, I'm going to start writing for my own personal use and maybe for other people as well, um, some blog posts which are going to be album uh, reviews or EP reviews, all to do with sort of local music, something I've thought about for a while, why not do that and see if anyone's interested, trying to promote local music, put it out there to the wider world, that type of thing as well. And another project which is cut, coming coming out of the back of that in some ways, an idea that I've had for a couple of years and I've only now just got around to starting to think about it. I won't tell you anything more about it, it's all to do with local music and promoting that as well. And I've met up with a couple of people and we've had some chats about this and it's progressing but we're going to keep it under a hat for a little bit. We've got a name, we're thinking of a logo and we've got lots and lots of ideas, some of them probably very, very much pie in the sky. But it's exciting, you know, and it makes you think about things. And once again, it's all these things that I've been thinking about since I've not been in sort of full-time employment. I had this first idea a couple of years ago, and I've sat on it. it the, new, the, the particular idea has morphed into something slightly different, and it's given me time to think about things. And, as I said, pushed me in different directions. Get me back in tune with music again. It's never gone away, but it's always been a constant. And that's one of those things that's come out in the, in the writing of the Vinyl Junkie blogs as well, is how much music has been a part of my life, especially, and how much it changed my life. You know, some of the records that I've been talking about are ones that have happened in periods of change, or oh, those particular records have sparked something themselves, or oh, that particular era, especially the punk ones, have sparked something as well. So lots of different things happening, and you know, one of the things I like to do is get out, have a walk, come down onto the beach, sit around in the sunshine while it lasts, you know, this the Indian summer as we call it over here, and it's amazing how many times the best ideas, I'm never short of ideas, but sometimes the best ones, you can think these things through by walking along the beach, enjoying this and soaking up the atmosphere and the sunshine and the fresh air. Can't be bad, can it? Anyway, I'll leave it there. Thanks for your time, and I'm sure I'll be speaking to you again shortly. Goodbye.